Hi everyone, it's your extraordinary social media consultant, Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Agency. Today, what I want to show you is how to add people to Twitter lists that you've created using TweetDeck. Now, if you're not already using TweetDeck, it's something that you should consider when managing your Twitter account. And it's even better if you're managing more than one Twitter account. But even for one, it's still a really good tool to use. And there are a number of things that you can do, but today I'm only going to show you how to add other people to your list using TweetDeck. So let's head over to TweetDeck. Now the TweetDeck tool, what you'll have to do is download it and then it will reside on your desktop. Of course, you, you can have it closed or you can open it up. So I have it open here and I have a number of feeds going. You'll see some running because things run in real time using TweetDeck. But I actually created a feed for notifications. And so this is the feed here. And you'll see that this basically shows uh, when someone retweeted my content. So um, if someone retweets my content, I, I like to add them to list. So I'm going to go here to Mr. Gary C. King. And first I want to look at his profile and see if he's worthy of being on any of the list that I've created already. So let's look at Gary. So here's Gary and in his description, it says true crime author, right? Writes books and, and articles. And then he has a little bit more information. Now I'm going to go ahead and add him to my author list and he has a lot of tweets going on there. So to do that, you'll go to the little man here and you'll just click on that and then you'll go to add and remove to list. Now I've already added him to list, which is, is my list that says all about writing. So I put copywriters and authors in that list and then you'll click done and he's in the list. Now let's look at another one. We'll look at this person right here. Now, when I pull this person up, I can't really read the description because it's in a different language. Um, so this is where things get a little hazy. If you don't make your description readable. Now, in this case, it probably is readable to the person that can read his language. But in other cases, sometimes people don't fill out their descriptions, which I highly recommend that you do, or they don't put enough information in there. So I can't really determine what list I would like that person on. So I have to skip that one. So let's go to the next one, last one. And in this one, here's another author here. And you can read the description for yourself. You just go here to the little man, hit that drop down, go down to add and remove from list. And then I'm gonna put him into that same list. It's all about writing. Click here and select done. And he's now in that list. So that's it for today. If you have any social media related questions, please leave those in the comments below. Also head over to Smart Office Help where you can get even more free social media advice by signing up to our email list and we'll let you know when we have new articles going out, when we have a new podcast release, when we have new videos released. And it's just a wealth of information that we give away. So go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day.